Hi y'all, you're watching the Big Jim Country Boy YouTube channel. Ever wondered how to make a delicious cornbread at home? A simple question, yet one that leads us down a delightful, buttery, culinary path. Today, we're exploring a recipe that's as homely as it is scrumptious. Homemade cornbread. Cornbread. The heartwarming golden delight that graces tables from coast to coast. Is more than a side dish. It's a testament to the joys of simple cooking. This recipe, my friends, is a blend of simplicity and deliciousness. It's a dance between the rustic charm of cornmeal and the sweet allure of a yellow cake mix. Yes, you heard that right. We're merging two worlds of flavor to create a cornbread that's moist, hearty, and irresistibly good. This journey won't just yield a mouth-watering cornbread. It's a chance for us to revel in the art of baking, to appreciate the magic that happens when ordinary ingredients transform into extraordinary delights. So, stay tuned to discover the secrets behind a mouth-watering cornbread. Before starting the recipe, soak some cornmeal in hot water. Now, some of you might be wondering, why the soaking? It's simple, really. Soaking cornmeal in hot water for two hours prior to starting your recipe has a couple of significant benefits. Firstly, it makes the cornmeal more digestible. This is because soaking helps to break down the cornmeal's complex carbohydrates, rendering it easier for your body to process. Secondly, and perhaps more importantly for our taste buds, soaking releases the cornmeal's unique flavor. It allows the cornmeal to fully hydrate, unlocking the robust, sweet, and earthy tones that will give your cornbread that classic comforting taste we all know and love. It's a small step that makes a world of difference, a little secret that takes your cornbread from good to great. So let's allow that cornmeal to bathe in its hot water jacuzzi, and while it's soaking, we can gather the other ingredients. Now that the cornmeal is soaking, we can gather the other ingredients. While the cornmeal is soaking, let's gather the rest of our ingredients. First off, we have the egg. A single large egg will do the trick. Eggs are marvelous, aren't they? They add moisture and richness to our cornbread. And the proteins in the egg will help give our bread structure as it bakes. So, make sure to have one handy. Next in line is our rising star, the baking powder. We need just a teaspoon of this. Baking powder is a leavening agent that helps our cornbread rise and become fluffy. It reacts to the heat in the oven, creating little air pockets in the bread. Remember, a little goes a long way, so no need to be heavy-handed here. And now, for a bit of a twist. We'll be kneading a box of yellow cake mix. Yes, you heard it right. Cake mix. This might sound unusual, but trust me, it's a game-changer. This not-so-secret ingredient will give our cornbread a slightly sweet, cake-like texture that's just divine. It's a simple hack that takes this cornbread from good to great. Now, do ensure that you follow the instructions on the box of the cake mix. Each brand may have slightly different instructions and we want to get it just right. This typically involves adding a little oil and water, but again, it's best to check the box for specific details. And that's pretty much it, folks. A large egg, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a box of yellow cake mix. Simple, right? But when these ingredients come together, they create something truly delicious. Of course, we can't forget about our pre-soaked cornmeal. It's the star of the show, after all. It's been soaking in hot water, getting all soft and ready to mingle with the rest of our ingredients. With all our ingredients in place, we're ready to start baking. Now it's time to prepare the batter. And folks, this is where the magic happens. The cornmeal, which has been soaking for a couple of hours, is now plump, soft, and ready to mingle with the other ingredients. So let's start by adding one large egg to our soaked cornmeal. The egg will act as a binder, holding everything together and making sure our cornbread doesn't crumble apart. Next, we'll add a teaspoon of baking powder. This little ingredient is going to give our cornbread its lift, creating a light and fluffy texture that's just irresistible. So go ahead and sprinkle it in, then give everything a good stir. You'll want to mix until the egg and baking powder are fully incorporated into the cornmeal. All right, now it's time to bring out the box of yellow cake mix. This is our secret weapon, the ingredient that will give our cornbread a sweet, cake-like quality that sets it apart. To prepare the cake mix, we'll need to follow the directions on the box. Every brand is a little different, so make sure to read the instructions carefully. Once you have your cake mix ready, it's time to combine it with the cornmeal mixture. Pour the cake mix into the bowl with the cornmeal, then stir until everything is well combined. 
You'll want to mix until you have a smooth, even batter with no lumps. This is the part where patience is key. Take your time and make sure everything is well mixed. You want to ensure that every bite of your cornbread has the perfect balance of cornmeal and cake mix. And there you have it. Our batter is ready to go into the oven. It looks good, doesn't it? Just wait until you see how it transforms in the heat of the oven, rising and browning into a beautiful loaf of cornbread. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. That's a story for the next scene. For now, let's just admire our batter. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Our batter is ready to go into the oven. Now comes the exciting part, baking our cornbread. Our journey has led us to this moment where we transform a simple batter into a golden, delicious cornbread. The anticipation is almost palpable, isn't it? But worry not, this final act in our culinary performance is simple, yet crucial. Our oven has been preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, a perfect temperature for our bread to bake evenly and acquire that delightful golden crust. Now, we gently slide our batter-filled pan into the oven. The heat will work its magic, turning our humble mixture into a mouth-watering delight. While our cornbread bakes, let's delve a little into the science of it all. The heat causes the baking powder to react, creating carbon dioxide gas. This gas gets trapped within our batter, causing it to rise and develop a light, fluffy texture. Simultaneously, the heat causes the sugars in the batter to caramelize, giving our cornbread a golden hue and a slightly sweet, irresistible crust. Now, how do we know when our cornbread is done? Well, we use a simple yet effective trick, the toothpick test. After about 20 to 25 minutes of baking, we carefully pull the oven rack out just a bit and poke a toothpick into the center of the bread. If it comes out clean, our cornbread is done. If not, we give it a few more minutes and test again. Remember, every oven is a bit different, so don't get too hung up on the exact timing. Trust your senses. The aroma of freshly baked cornbread filling your kitchen and the golden brown color are great indicators that your bread is ready. Once our cornbread passes the toothpick test, we take it out of the oven and let it cool a bit. This cooling process allows the bread to set and makes it easier to slice. And there you have it, a delicious homemade cornbread. Enjoy the fruits of your labor and remember the joy of baking is in the process as much as in the final product. Voila, you've just baked your very own cornbread. An aroma as inviting as grandma's kitchen has likely filled your home and you're moments away from tasting that sweet, crumbly goodness. But before you dig in, let's take a moment to review our journey in the kitchen today. We started off with a simple ingredient, cornmeal. Not just a staple in southern kitchens, cornmeal is the star of our show today. We soaked it in hot water, letting it absorb all that liquid goodness for a good two hours before we even thought about turning on the oven. Then, we moved on to gathering our additional ingredients. A large egg for binding, a teaspoon of baking powder for a light and fluffy texture, and our secret ingredient, a box of yellow cake mix. Each item was carefully chosen to complement the cornmeal and bring out the flavors we all know and love in a good cornbread. Mixing up that yellow cake mix, we followed the directions on the box to a T. This isn't just about adding sweetness, but also about giving the cornbread its golden hue and moist texture. Once that was done, we combined it with our cornmeal, creating a batter that's ready to transform into our beloved bread. And finally, into the oven it went. Baked at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, until a toothpick comes out clean. The anticipation as it bakes, the golden top as it emerges from the oven, and the satisfaction of a job well done. All part of the baking process. So there you have it, folks. Homemade cornbread isn't just possible, it's downright easy. And the best part, you can customize this recipe to your heart's content. Add some jalapenos for a kick, some cheese for richness, or even some honey for extra sweetness. The world is your cornbread, as they say. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and follow Big Jim Country Boy Live on Facebook. Happy baking!